I'm thinking aces or kings. <laughs> you think right. And Shlomi's now thinking, if you've read me for aces or kings, surely you can beat aces or kings. I have to fold. You play a hand with me, Daniel? I don't know. I'm thinking. You know, it's early, but I, pr I, probably, sh I probably shouldn't play this one. But I'm going to see a flop with you. Yeah. See what, you're up, see what you're up to early on. Daniel calls. Deuce, five, king, two clubs. Uh-oh. Check. 14. Given bets. Yeah. 1,400. Do you have a king? I may have. Do you? Just tell me. It's fine. Do you have a king? No? Okay. I called in. Oh, my lord. Not only was that free information, but Daniel didn't even have to work for it. <laughs> Seven of spades on the turn. Daniel checks. Uh, he doesn't have a king. You're an honest man. I like that. So does Given. Six on the river. You got a five. Do I have a five? A three, four. Three, four. I'm going to bet four. you $1,200. Daniel bets. It's a weird bet, I know. It's a Phil Helmuthian like <laughs> bet, right? <laughs> It's a Helmuthian bet. I played that bad. I'm just breaking the ice. I think you might have 3-4, though. Fold. No, I have you beat, though. Yeah, well, I know you have me beat. You make me pay now, because you know I never fold. That's fair. OK. Do what you got to do. I understand. I'm not going to take it personal. Here, take it. Take whatever you want. I just don't fold. It's so boring to fold. So I decided, no more folding. You never know what you might hit. I don't know what I have yet. We'll see. I'll tell you what I have after the flop. What you have, Daniel, is top pack. Check to that guy. He, he's one to raise. What are you looking at me for? I'm not going to bet. Come on. This flop? That texture? Psh. How many spades are there? Three? Ooh. Scare card. Scare card. Yes, three spades, and we're three-handed, so you're really not supposed to be talking. I'm going to take a stab. Nope. I'm going to bet. I'm going to take a stab. That's not... Yeah, yeah. Let's see what that does. 82. Lots of fun stuff happening on that board. Do one of these? Cool. My dad used to do this to me when I was younger. <laughs> he gave me the nose when he'd stare at him. You mm. can't see it, but we're totally doing it. Tarnovs does have draws to uh -oh. go with his jacks. You're the guy who checked queens before in the 10 high flop, so now I'm scared. River bricks out for Tarnovs. Daniel should absolutely be betting this board. He does, 9,600. 96? Yep. Safe river, safe bet. Tarnov still only looking at one overcard to his jacks. Now it's the Sith Lord versus Jar Jar Binks the King. We have like jacks or queens or something like that? Is that what you have with a spade? Is that what you have? Jacks or queens with a spade? Oh, I got it! <laughs> he smiled, that's what he's got. I'm smiling because you are talking. Oh, I love to talk. I don't shut up. You haven't been paying attention the last four hours? Story checks out. <laughs> when have you seen me shut up? I just keep blah, 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 blah. Diarrhea of the mouth. Can't help myself. Story still checking out. <laughs> what do you have? What do I have? I would tell you, except you're not allowed. It's an EPT rule. I would tell you exactly what I have, but I can't. Cool. Because you're a Nigerian. I have a king. No. Okay. Works. So Daniel wins the last hand of the level. This is fun. I love that. It's fun playing poker. The river card is a king. Top pair now for Van Plu. Good spot for Daniel to just check and pray for a cheap and fruitful showdown. When he does check, not sure cheap showdown is an option though. Nope. Right now, David just trying to figure out the price of this value meal. He only has 36,000 behind. On. And he shoves. I fold, but did you have ace king? No? You didn't have ace king? You had aces or something? No, you didn't have aces. What the hell did you have? Ace what the hell you had? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you had me beat. Maybe you're goofing. I don't know. I should have moved in before the flop like you kids do. Queen five deuce with two clubs. A set of fives for Torelli. Negranu was the pre flop aggressor. He has ace high in a backdoor club draw. And he bets 1,150. Over half pot into four opponents. This bet should come free with a drink at the bar because it is a little nuts. How does Torelli play a set? I think part of Daniel's rationale is that he does have that backdoor nut flush draw, which means he can probably rep huge on the turn. Torelli raises 2,500 total. Samatino gives up the threes. Palafis is out. Luca folds as well. Daniel calls. 
Daniel's now put in 25% of his stack with no pair and no draw. He's going to need more runners in the New York Marathon. Well, Daniel's going to be loving that card. He now has second pair plus the flush draw. Torelli obviously still big favorite with those set of fives. Daniel's going to think that's the best card in the deck for him, but we know it's the same as any other club. Except the queen. That would be bad. And it looks like Daniel's going to donk lead this. Don't let the name fool you. Even the pros do this sometimes. That's when you bet into the last aggressor. Blue chips. Torelli's bound to be a little confused by this. Daniel's bet 30% of his remaining chips. Torelli may well just put them all in. No, he just calls. He's either trapping or he wants to reevaluate on the river. The river card is the ace of diamonds giving Daniel two pair. And he moves all in. We could be about to lose Daniel Negreanu. Sick part is he thinks he's value betting. 67. 7,075. This wasn't a great card for Torelli either. An ace queen of hearts or something. This will be an awful line for a bluff, so Alex might think he's beat here. <sighs> it's like I want to fold. Really? You have a what? I want to fold. You don't have a fold? No, I want to fold. Oh, I wanted to fold. Do you have ace queen of hearts? Is that what you have? That's kind of what I put you on. Fold the damn turn. There is an argument if you call the turn, you have to call the river. Ace queen of hearts might get half. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the high, I'll take the low. <laughs> Might get half, that's good. I mean, it's really hard to be bluffing. That part's true. You're special though. That's what I've been told. Alec is getting almost three to one. He had fives? Ding. And he lays it down! He folds the set! Negrano's loving life right now on the button with this hand. He's really thinking about it. He's confused with this 5x open out of Shlomi. But he makes the call. Both blinds will fold. So three players will see a flop. No six for Bonyardi, but a nine high flop could get Daniel in trouble here. Daniel looked a big speculative pre-flop, and now he's picked up top pair. He might get in trouble. Shlomi continues. He's made it 15-25. It's a pot-sized bet. No slow playing for Shlomi. 5x pre-flop, pot on the flop. Daniel's still not convinced. He wants to call, but should he call? Daniel has a tough time folding pairs, and this is top pair. He should probably fold, but I don't see it happening. Daniel call. He does make the call. A big pot is brewing. No real threat out there to Shlomi's kings. Shlomi can't be too concerned about this turn card. 21-25. This time he decides to make it a little bit cheaper for Negrano. He went full pot on the flop, right around half pot on the turn. Surely this is where Daniel lets it go. Uh, Daniel is trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And he makes the call. He's not entirely convinced yet. Again, this river really doesn't change much. The only hand this helps is 6-7 or 8-9. And Shlomi only fires out a third pot on this river. He gives Negrano a fair price to make this call. He's getting 4-1 to one on his money. Well, let's see if Daniel can get away from this. Daniel is determined Angel Small River Bet is a value hand that Kid Poker can't beat. Although it's hard for him to rep a hand, he's bumping it up. Yeah, aces or kings? Can I say that or is that illegal? Heads up. I can say what he has but not what I have. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking aces or kings. <laughs> you think right. Daniel really pulled the trigger correctly on that one. And Shlomi's now thinking, if you've read me for aces or kings, surely you can beat aces or kings. I have to fold. If I show one, do I have to show all? No. Okay. okay. I can show one? You can show one. I can show one if I want to? I don't feel like it. 
<laughs> I got. I don't have a good one to show. Ace of the Kings was good, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's what I thought he had, but not that I could beat it. 